Hello, I'm Vicky Letch and I've been joined by Ollie Smith. Hello. Ah, ah, is that because of the shirt? Yeah, a little, well, no, it's because you're you. Oh, I uh, love we're it. We're here talking wine. I'm in the mood for something sweet. Sweet? Gin. Well, I have the very thing. We're going to talk about pudding wines today. Huge diversity available to you. Obviously, so okay. tan, very, very famous. Yeah. You know, lovely stuff, but I think there's other stuff out there that maybe people wouldn't have looked at that we can have a look at today. Hungary is our first port of call. I was going to say, yes, I am. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel like? A peck on a chip? Um, this one here is called Tokai. Now, Tokai is a... Tokai. Tokai. It's a Tokai. nice Tokai. word, Tokai. isn't it? It is a nice Tokai. word. Tokai. Tokai. Yeah. It's a place in Hungary, and this particular maker is called Dijnoko, which means Rock of the Wild Boar. And I actually visited this particular winery, and I went up to this... Uh, they call it Pig Rock locally, which I think is... Uh, doing it some dis, uh, disservice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big rock. But I was anticipating this whole kind of wild boar sculpture yeah. with an axe guitar, you know, rock of the wild <laughs> boar. I wanted to see, you know, wah, but no such thing, no such luck. Tokai basically is a fantastic sweet wine made from local grapes, harsh levelu, formant, all of that kind of thing. Right. Great words, aren't they? Harsh levelu, Really, formant. really good words. My first, my first um, thing that I noticed about it is very small bottle. It's a very small bottle because it's quite expensive. It does cost right. you 20 pounds for one of these, but okay. the reason is it's a very, very well-handled, bespoke wine. And right. what you get is you get two rivers, the Tirza and the Bodrog. I yeah. love those. They sound like really? villains from Lord of the Rings. Really Tirza and Bodrog, oh, we'll fight <laughs> over the mountain. Um, you get these two rivers converging in this area. Mists in the morning come over the vines, they hang late with the grapes. Oh. They have this little dewy effect that rots the grapes with a rock called Botrytis oh, it, was a, it was a nice story until we got to the rot. I know about the rot, but it's good rot. It's okay. the same sort of rot that makes your cheese taste fantastic. This okay. one here will make your grapes desiccate into little raisins. But the great thing about this sweet wine is it's not altogether about sweetness. And I know I sound like I'm talking a load of nonsense, but this wine has fantastic acidity. Right. So you get this really nice, if you think sweet and sour, you get this fantastic yeah. sweetness to it. And then you get this absolutely magical palate cleansing citrus tang that I absolutely love. Brilliant colour, orangey, absolutely lovely. This kind of wine works so well if you're having something like foie gras, if you're into that. Blue cheese, it works brilliantly well with. Puddings, obviously, unbelievable. Yeah. Rich chocolatey dishes. I always find it quite difficult to match a wine to a pud, so this is very interesting for me. I don't mean to sound like a wine pervert, but another thing you could do is, and I, I know the winemaker, Laszlo, is going to be turning in his cellar when he hears this, but you could serve this over crushed ice, and people do love it. I would love it. It's a I actually really, surprisingly, really like it. So I didn't pleased. think I'd like this. No, I know, because you were saying you weren't a sweet wine fan, but this one has the sugar, has the acidity. Mm. Now, because I like it so much, I want to move on to this one. This is a whole different kettle of fish. This is Liqueur Muscat from Brown Brothers yep. in Australia. Muscat is the grape variety, and it has this incredible colour to it. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, it's, wow. it's virtually black. It's this kind of woody colour. It's seen a huge amount of oak. It's been stacked away in oak barrels to get this amazing colour. They raisin the grapes, and they fortify it. They're very brutal with their grapes. It looks very posh. It looks very sophisticated. I like the sound of your... I like the cut of your jib there. <laughs> it does, and it smells. I mean, immediately you get that whole raisin, fig, prune, toffee, all that kind of... All those yeah. naughty things that are candied and stuffed into you your child. It's amazing to the untrained nose. As soon yeah. as you point the smells out, I'm like, that's what I can oh, smell. What? You're a genius. I'm delighted you to be do a service. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> I love this. I think it's great wine. If you're having tiramisu, nothing beats it. If you're yeah. having black coffee, this alongside it, or even you could be a perv and pour it in the coffee. I don't mind. The winemaker will. I love your pervy ways. I love my pervy ways. I think this kind of wine has a great future to it. People don't really think of tasting sweet wines. It's worth going the extra mile for the pud. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. That knocks your socks off. Sweet tastic, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Ooh. Absolutely fantastic. Where's my dentist? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Very sweet. Very sweet. It's almost a pudding in itself. I like Liquid that. Liquid pudding. Liquid pudding. Brilliant. We need, to talk, we need to talk this through. It's a great idea. It's a new right, legend. So let's recap for the lovely people. What have we just sampled? We have just sampled Dijnoko's Tokai, five Petonias, means it's quite sweet, from Hungary. And we've had Brown Brothers Liqueur Muscat, which is dark, wonderful, seductive fig syrup in a glass. Oh, mm. fantastic. I love the way you describe it. Thank you. If you're ready for a sweet treat, uh, you just want to soothe your sweet tooth, perhaps, of course, go for these. You can find them in your local wine stores. Come back to us. We want them to, don't we? We do. Because Please we come are back. absolutely loving talking about wine. See you soon.